A life of horror they never imagined, working as slaves on Thai fishing vessels in a remote corner of Indonesia. They suffered in silence for many years until a team from the fisheries ministry in Jakarta came to investigate claims of human trafficking and slavery. Fishermen, mostly from Myanmar, say they were forced to work without pay. You can call this slavery indeed. For example, when they were sick, they will be called by the captain and given electroshocks and tortured. Also, when they were very tired, they were treated inhumanely. Yes, this is slavery. These men say they were sold to the fishing company by an agent from Thailand, who promised them a job in a restaurant. Instead, they ended up far from home. They managed to escape and are now hiding. Maybe some people on the boats wanted to be there, but not me and not many others. They told me to just accept my situation, but I couldn't. I wanted to go home so badly. The fishing company used a prison cell to regularly lock up fishermen, their desperation written on the walls. For sure I will get home one day, someone writes. If there's a way in, there should be a way out. And their way out has finally come. After listening to their testimonies, government investigators decide to take them to a safer place. This just shows how desperate they really are. As soon as the Indonesian government announced they were going to bring them to safety, they all emerged. More than 280 and more are still coming. They're leaving a life they recall as full of fear and horror. And they're going to a life of uncertainty. But most importantly, they're going home. These victims of human trafficking are only a small group of fishermen stuck in Indonesia. And while Kiat Yehilin is excited to finally go home after four years, the fate of many others hangs in the balance. Stapfasen, Al Jazeera, Benjina, East Indonesia.